after you are done listening to what I'm about to tell you, you are going to be miles ahead of any other student entering medical school. So hey guys, it's Andreas, and uh, today I'm gonna to go through a step-by-step -step process on how to basically remember everything you learned in medical school, right? I'll preface this by saying this, the reason I'm all dressed up is not for the video, it's just that right after I'm done with this video, I have to run to the hospital and do my clinical rotations. So the benefits of understanding what I'm about to tell you is that obviously you're gonna ace your exams, right? If you stay true to this technique and you do everything I tell you, you're gonna ace your exam. And on top of it, when it comes time to study down the line for the step exams, studying is gonna be a breeze because you're already gonna be caught up on all the information that you learned in medical school, right? So stay tuned. Okay, so the first problem we have to tackle is what information do we have to study? Meaning where are we gonna get the information that we wanna study to perform well on the test? This can be the professor's actual notes, the professor's lectures that he gives you, or this can be some external source, whatever online that you find that you can, you can use, right? So personally, I recommend that you only study the professor's lectures and professor's PowerPoints. At the end of the day, it's the professor's that write the exams but let's just say there's a topic that you don't really understand based off the professor's notes you can always outsource and go on youtube whatever and find uh, other sources to kind of supplement what you're learning from the professor the second thing that we got to do is we have to download this app or this computer program called anki right so anki if you download it on a computer it's going to be free whether it's your macbook or your pc but if you buy the app on the app store it's going to cost you about 25 dollars, which may seem like the end of the world i mean 25 dollars for an app that's a, that's a lot of money but if you do download on your phone, you can sync it with your PC. So everything you learn on your PC is gonna be on your phone as well. And this gives you the power to study literally from everywhere, whether you're in the sauna, the gym, the hot tub, anywhere you can study on your phone. So in the description, I actually left a link to download Anki, but stay tuned because I need to actually like really hone in on the importance of downloading this app because not only will Anki really help you memorize everything that you learn in medical school, but it will help you do it in the most time efficient manner. Just trust me, so stay tuned. So now that we have the source information that we have to learn and we have that really powerful tool, Anki, we are all set to study. I am now about to show you the exact technique that I used to study to this day. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record my, my computer screen so I can show it you on here and you guys can learn. So just follow along with me and use it, all right? Okay guys, so here's my little demo, right? So let's say we're reading our textbook and for an example, we're studying hypertension medication and we come across the drug nitroprusside. So let's say the passage reads, nitroprusside is a medication used for hypertension, hypertension emergency. It dilates both arteries and veins and works by increasing the amount of nitric oxide in your body, which activates CGMP and it's the CGMP that causes arterial dilation and vaginal dilation, which lowers blood pressure. And let's say you suspect that this piece of information might be on the test. So you wanna make an Aki card for it. So I'm gonna show you exactly how. So I already have Anki uh, loaded up over here. So you, what you're going to do is you're going to see something like this, right? It's actually this blue icon when you download it. Let me show you it. Um, it's this one over here that says Anki. So let's load it up. Okay. Now these are all my decks I already made, but I'm going to make a new demo deck. So what you do, you're going to hit um, decks. Um, um, oh, actually, no, you hit this right over here. Create new deck. Sorry about that. And I'm going to name it demo. Okay. Now we have this demo deck right over here. We're going to click it. And uh, it says, uh, congratulations, because there's no actual cards in it, so it's going to think that we're finished. But I'm going to do, if you can't see, but I'm going to hit add card right there, right? And we're going to make an Anki card. Let me lower it down just a little bit. So the way this Anki card works is that we're going to take that information that we just wanted to learn about nitroprusside. We're going to copy it, or we can type it up if you're using a book. We're going to put it right over here where it says text, right? And the way Anki works is that, or the way I use it at least is, let me close out this, is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this word nitroprusside and I'm gonna uh, click this bracket over here. I have this first bracket over here, right? But it says, uh, I'm gonna cover the word nitroprusside. And so it's gonna come up as blank is a medication used for, I'll make another card. You'll see it, it'll make sense at the end. Um, it dilates both arteries and veins and works by increasing the amount of, I'm going to make another card. I'm going to take this word and make another card, which activates blank. Now, look what this does when I hit add. Now, let's exit out of this because we made the cards. And it says, now we have four cards made so we can study. So, let me lower it down so you guys can see it. Um, blank. So, you see how it says Blank. One second. Um, blank is a medication used for hypertensive emergency that dilates both arteries and veins and increases and increasing the amount of nitric oxide. So I would say, hmm, what can that be? Let's say I know it's nitroprusside. I click show answer. And um, I think I knew it pretty good. So I'm going to hit 
um, that I knew are pretty good, right? So I'm going to see it again in 10 minutes. Same thing. Nitroprusside is a medication used for blank. I know it's going to be hypertensive emergency because I, like I did the card. So I hit again. Again, good, right? Now, based off the information, right, um, when you say, when you hit show answer, if you, if, you, if you didn't know it at all, let me raise this up a little bit, you can hit again in a minute. Again, uh, it was hard, so short again in six minutes. It's good, short again in 10 minutes. If it was really, really easy, you can see it again in two days, right? So that's the point I'm trying to make how it kind of like separates information. Now, back to me. Now guys, Anki is a wonderful tool, but I'm telling you, I only know really how to use it on a very surface level. So I'm looking at it right now, and like you can copy and paste charts into these cards. You can put pictures in there. You can do a lot of information on these cards to learn. So so please just go on a YouTube video and search up like how to use Anki better than I'm teaching you. And I'm telling you, if you become a master at this app, you're gonna, you're gonna be even more successful. So the reason I'm urging you guys to use Anki this bad is because Anki saves you so much time, right? So for an example, um, let's say you remember nitroprusside, what it does, and you can recite basically what it does in your sleep. This is gonna be reflected on about how, about how fast and about how like quick that you can answer these Anki cards, right? And uh, what the software inside Anki does is it only gonna show you information that it suspects that you're on the verge of forgetting, right? And all the information that you really know really well, it's not gonna show you it because there's no point of it, but it, but it catches onto it by itself, right? And this saves you a ton of time because you're only gonna be studying what you need to study, what, you, what you're struggling on. Because in medical school, you don't really have time to like go over stuff that you already know really well. So let me give you an example I just told you without getting it too complicated, right? So for the card we just made, uh, the way Anki works is that in addition to actually learning the card that we just did, it's going to show us the card again tomorrow. So when tomorrow comes and we see the card, if we struggle with it, we can say, okay, show it to me again the next day because I didn't do so well whatever that day. But if we still know the card really well, we can say, show me the card again in three days. All right, let's say three days pass, right? So if you still know the card really well and you're able to recite it even after three, four days, you hit show me again in five days. But if you struggle with the card, you can say show me again in one or two days. So see, it will, it will, it kind of like categorizes information based off what you know really well and what you, what you need work on. So, and that's gonna save you, that makes all the difference. So basically, you see the information you want to learn, you make an Anki card out of it, and Anki basically works as your personal tutor to only show you information that things are struggling on, right? While it kind of it's going to push back the information that you that you know very, very well, but you're never going to forget that information that you know very, very well because you're going to be periodically tested on that in intervals. So it's always going to stay fresh in your mind. So a huge thing about Anki is that these cards that you are making, they can always be edited. So let's say you find information about a certain topic that you want to add to the card, you just hit edit, and you, you add information as needed. So the, the last step to memorizing everything in medical school is doing a lot of practice questions, right? So practice questions are very good because it, it kind of lets you know if you know what you're talking about. Um, it's good because practice questions kind of um, make sense of the material. And not only that, it, it gives you an insight about how the material might be tested on on the real test. So um, let's say you're doing, you're doing a test question or a practice question, I should say, and you see information that you should add to the card. You just hit edit to the Anki card. You add a little bit of information. For an example, I was studying some sort of like um, endo, uh, endometrial polyp and an, endo, an endometrial polyp is actually considered a hyperechoic mass. I didn't know that. So I just copied and pasted hyperechoic mass and then add, made an Anki card within the, end, with, end, within the endometrial polyp card I already had and just said endometrial polyp equal blank and I said equal hyperechoic mass. So that's an example of how you just edit a card and edit the information accordingly, right? So I know this Anki talk can be a little crazy, but if there's enough requests, I'll do a whole out video about how I use it and how to utilize it best, all right? So let me know in the comments below. And anyway, guys, there you have it. Um, my personal hack about how to remember everything in medical school. Um, please guys, I, I know it's confusing, but drop a comment if you need any help and I'll try to get to all of them. Um, and please guys, uh, please, if you like this video, click the thumbs up, uh, let's subscribe. I'm trying to get to over 3000 hours. So I really, really appreciate you guys are watching this video. Um, so see you guys.